fragrances are coming out all the time, you know, the, the fragrance houses have to come up with something new in order to stay relevant. And this video I'm going to explore um, some of the latest releases of 2023, specifically uh, fragrances that are have been released in spring or that are good for spring, um, since we are currently in the spring. So, um, a lot of these new releases are flankers or um, just different iterations of existing fragrances and then there are a few that are completely new. Starting with um, Gucci Bloom uh, Eau de Parfum Intense. Gucci Bloom has been around for a while already, a very very famous option, um, but the new release, the uh, Intense version, the Intense version is obviously going to be stronger. Um, obviously floral, bloom, um, orange blossom, you know, tube rose, jasmine, super, super intense floral um, option. And since it's intense, it's extra good because it's more long lasting. Um, because usually floral fragrances don't last that long, but this is obviously they've tried to make it more intense, longer lasting. So definitely a good option if you enjoy florals and you enjoy the Gucci brand. Um, so the next one, is from Cartier, uh, specifically Oud Vanille, uh, Les Heures Voyageux. Anything from Cartier is going to be delightful, a very classic, established brand. This is, um, it's kind of similar to um, Mousse Cartier, uh, but it's a little bit different. It has, of course, Oud, uh, wood, which is this very rare kind of delicious wood note. Um, it's also a very versatile option, good for summer, good for winter, autumn, whatever. Um, and some very nice floral notes, so definitely a good option if you um, want kind of a more distinct sort of floral wood fragrance. Then, uh, from Hermes, another French brand, we have En Jardin à Cithère, uh, which pretty much is, I mean, means garden at Cithère. So, naturally a very natural fragrance, natural florals, a little bit on the light side, um, but still, I mean, I wouldn't say it's too light. It's pretty much a guaranteed classic um, if you enjoy light florals. So it's, a, it's flexible as well. You can use it throughout the day into the evening, um, especially during the spring and summer. Then there's also La Bouche Rouge Bleu, uh, which is interesting because the name means uh, the mouth red blue, but despite that, um, it's a super kind of lavender, peppery sort of fragrance, um, a very calming sort of fragrance. Definitely, it's kind of light to moderate, um, not super strong, not super projecting. Very feminine, um, you know, very pleasant, has some rose notes thrown in. Um, very good, kind of classic, uh, luxurious sort of fragrance. So there's Blooming Bouquet, uh, Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. Miss, there's a thousand variations of Miss Dior. The first one was in 1947. This is the most modern version. I've only smelled the 2021 version, so I can't really say how good this 2023 version is. But knowing Dior, it's most likely pretty good. They, Miss Dior is like their main perfume, so they always try to make it as good as possible. Blooming Bouquet, you could get the idea. Super floral, sweet, feminine, has some peony, some fresh, clean notes. Uh, very, very pleasant. Um, definitely good for anything from uh, a more formal event uh, to going out for groceries, going walk for a walk in the park. It's good for all those things. Um, you can't really go wrong with Miss Dior, it always smells good, so. Then, there's a uh, London Osmanthus Blossom from Jo Malone, which is a very classic, um, kind of modern brand. Um, this is pretty much a fresh, clean scent. There's some florals, um, obviously Osmanthus Blossom, um, but in general, this is more of a kind of clean, sharp fragrance. Um, gives you kind of those fresh linen vibes. 
Um, very good if you're looking for something to keep you refreshed, uh, good for the summer for that reason, maybe the spring. Um, a bit too cold, I would say, for the winter or just, you know, colder months in general. But for the warmer seasons, um, it's a very good option. It's going to keep you nice and fresh and light. So, then there is Cherry Smoke Eau de Parfum uh, by Tom Ford. Tom Ford, everyone knows Tom Ford's perfumes are ground shattering. Um, it's super famous, super kind of top shelf sort of fragrances. Um, modern as well. Um, the Tom Ford brand isn't very old. Um, so it's you know, always producing something unique, something something interesting. Cherry Smoke is no different. It's not an exception. Um, it has a unique mix of fruity notes mixed with smoky notes. That's not something that um, perfumes usually do. Usually it's one or the other. This is different. This is kind of a really nice kind of smoked cherry with a little bit of apricot, saffron, a little bit of florals. So very kind of a dark cherry, very delicious, very unique sort of scent. Heavy, you know, if you like heavy perfumes, you'd probably like this. So super luxurious, super kind of mysterious, you know, one of those smoky fragrances. So definitely a good option if you if you like something along those lines. Then we also have Jo Malone uh, London Rose Blush. So again, you can kind of get the idea of what this is all about. That kind of light feminine pink kind of uh, aura. Um, mainly floral, but it has some crisp, clean notes as well. Um, very good for uh, daytime wear as well as, you know, maybe going out to the bar for cocktails, you know. Um, kind of versatile that way. A little bit of musk, um, not too strong. It's mainly just uh, florals with a little bit of basil for that little bit of herbal note. Um, very, very pleasant. Um, it's feminine, but not, you know, it has some some nuances that make it unique. So definitely something to look into. Then from uh, Lacombe, there is La Vie est Belle, Iris Absolue, uh, Eau de Parfum. So La Vie est Belle has already been around for a while now. Traditionally a very uh, gourmand, sweet, very sweet sort of perfume, super feminine for that reason. Um, this new version though, Iris Absolue, is uh, obviously Iris Ford. So you get that really nice, sweet, sort of buttery um, Iris note, uh, mixed with some black currant figs, you know, some heavy fruit notes. It makes it a little bit kind of sticky sweet. Um, this is definitely, if you don't like sweet perfumes, you probably wouldn't like this. If you like sweet perfumes, this is perfect. Um, surprisingly heavy for the type of perfume that it is, super feminine, um, and obviously from Lacombe, a uh, very classic sort of brand. So, And the last one is uh, Libre Le Parfum um, from Yves Saint Laurent. The Libre uh, perfume has already been around for a while. This is an addition, um, kind of more intense version, Le Parfum. More, more of an intense perfume. Um, it's also a little bit spicier than the original, a little bit kind of saffron, um, you know, heavier, spicier, more intense than the original Libre, um, which is, if you already like the original, you'll probably also like this one, um, especially if you're a fan of spices and like saffron and stuff like that. Also a little bit of orange blossom, um, very kind of sensual, a perfume very good for the evening um, and in general it's I mean all the notes that it has are delicious so you, you can't really go wrong with it so that's pretty much all I have to say about the uh, latest fragrance releases in 2022 um, pretty much all of them sound good to me I mean all, you know, all these brands always make an effort to make the best quality product they can especially since their designer um, fragrance houses. So the quality and the luxury is automatic. So that's all I have to say about that. If you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like, maybe subscribe. If you have anything to say about these perfumes, you can always leave a comment down below. 
and I make these videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.